What's up, home bartenders? It's almost St. Patrick's Day, and something I've never done on the channel before is make homemade Irish cream liqueur. So that's what we're gonna do today. Let's do it. So if you're finding me for the first time, I make a lot of homemade liqueurs on the channel. If you check out that playlist, um, whole bunch of homemade liqueurs that we've done over the years. But today we're making Irish cream for St. Patrick's Day, so let's get right to it. And make sure you hit that subscribe button because in the next episode, we're gonna be making some cocktails with Irish cream. All right, let's look at what we need. Irish whiskey, cream, sweetened condensed milk, vanilla and almond extract, chocolate syrup, and coffee, instant coffee, which we're gonna use right now and dissolve into a little bit of hot water. You can actually probably skip this step uh, now that I think about it, and or you could use like half a shot of fresh espresso. That would actually work pretty well. All right. So set that one aside and then we're gonna start with our heavy cream, that's 35% cream, into a mixing bowl. After that, the star of the show, our Irish whiskey using Tullamore Dew here. Um, the measurements are all on the screen. This is gonna make 500 mil, so this is the size of one of my bottles. You could scale it up if you want, if you wanna make more or less, so you do you. Um, and then add that whiskey right into the mixing bowl. And just for good measure, an extra shot, come on. All right, our sweetness is gonna come in the form of sweetened condensed milk. Um, we only need about a third of the, of the standard container, so you know, try not to waste it, stick it back in the fridge, and I don't know, bake something. <laughs> make sure to get all that stuff in. This is the only ingredient we're really gonna have to mix in there and make sure that it, well combi it combines well because it is thick. All right, after that you can add your uh, your instant coffee mix or your espresso or fresh coffee for you if you were using that. We're then gonna use uh, chocolate syrup. That's the kids' chocolate syrup, but they won't mind. Just a tablespoon is what we need. That's gonna give it a little hint of chocolate. All right, get it all out of that spoon. Mixy mixy. Next up, some vanilla extract. This is homemade vanilla extract, by the way. Check out my episode on vanilla infusions, where I make all sorts of vanilla goodies. All right, just a tablespoon of vanilla as well. And finally, this is a an optional ingredient, but I'm gonna add a little bit of almond extract. I don't want this tasting like like uh, amaretto, so go very light on the almond. Um, just get that in there. All right, we're gonna give that a good stir, get everything combined, get that uh, sweet and condensed milk combined. And finally, something that is kind of second nature in cooking, but not so much in cocktail making, we're gonna add a pinch of salt because that's gonna make the flavors pop. It's not gonna be salty, but the flavor's gonna pop. I switched to a whisk here. We don't wanna really aerate this too much, but I really want that, that especially that sweet and condensed milk to combine properly. All right, let's bottle it up. We got one of my swing top bottles, 500 mil, and it should go perfectly right to the neck of the bottle there. Excellent, look at that. And of course, you know what we do here? We're gonna slap on a sexy label. And there it is, our homemade Irish cream liqueur. Okay, so technically once you're done and you've um, bottled it up, technically it should sit in the fridge so the ingredients kind of get to know each other and it just, you know, blends a little better. However, um, I couldn't wait and I want to try it right away. So um, here it is, our homemade Irish cream. I keep saying, I keep saying I'm not uh, a huge fan of cream liqueurs and then I have one and it's just like, oh my God, it's good. Um, I just don't drink them that often, but they are incredible when done properly. I mean, uh, you get the cream, you get the, the sweetness, Irish whiskey obviously is a huge part. And then you do get those little hints. It's it's very subtle, it works really well, but hints of coffee, hints of chocolate, hints of vanilla, even that little bit of almond we put in there. Everything is, is very subtle in the back. It's not overpowering. I was worried about the almond ex extract. I didn't want this to taste like uh, amaretto cream, which we've done. Um, but, um, but yeah, quite impressed with this. I would keep this in the fridge for maybe a couple months. However, I've got eggnog in that fridge that's two years old and it's still good. <laughs> and so, who knows? Put it in the fridge. Obviously, after a couple months, check it. If it passed the sniff test, there's no visible mold, it's probably still fine, all right? Hope you enjoyed that, guys. We'll see you next time. Cheers.